Welcome back now, World Chronicles audience. Yesterday, you know, I discussed just kind of briefly a list of deities that may or may not be responsible for plague. If we look at history and their profiles and what the people of their cultures thought about them, these were guys who brought plagues along. So I figured, hey, let's figure out who might be upset and maybe needs, you know, an offering. Maybe you've got to send a couple of kids over there. I don't know. But we could figure it out by going through that list. But I also felt, you know, it's kind of irresponsible for me to not bring up a list of deities who will also protect you during a plague. These are the plague superheroes, right? So, hey, let's all put our heads together. I'm going to go through this short list. Maybe you pick a deity you choose to want to make a sacrifice or, or give some love to. And maybe we come out of this thing okay. So, first we're going to look at Africa and we see... Agwu, who was an Igbo god of health and divination. We also had Jinju, who were water spirits that bring good fortune and cure disease. Yoshanyan is a Yoruba, Yurisha of herbalism, and he was known to heal many diseases among his people. My favorite, of course, is the goddess Sekhmet, who comes to us from Lower Kemet. And this is a manifestation of the deity Hathor. And in this role, she is a goddess of healing and medicine. And they also had Heka, who was a deification of magic. And the Kemites believe that they could gain protection from this deity as well. And of course, the great goddess Aset, who was a god of healing, in addition, magic. Uh, marriage and uh, appropriately perfection armenian culture gave us anahit who was a goddess of fertility and healing and also was associated with wisdom and water in their mythology if you are of baltic leaning cultural you may look at ragana who is a witch deity who protects healers that would be good you know protect our doctors and also will wisdom holders so all of our smart people let the dumb ones go on. In Chinese culture, they give us Wang Tai Sin, who was a god who had the power of healing in his own hands. And also, He Zanggu, who is one of the eight legendary immortals, whose lotus flower improves one's mental health and physical health as well. So a couple of good things there. The Greeks, of course, not to be left out, gave us the god Apollo, who was known for his healing ability. And addition, we have the Greek goddess Artemis, who is also a god of healing, in addition to being a warrior and hunter. The Hittites give us Shashuka, who is a goddess of fertility, war, and oddly enough, also healing. The Norse would give us Ir, who was a goddess associated with medical skill. So it would go right hand with our current pandemic battle. In Persian mythology, they give us Helma, who was a god of good health, who required very little in terms of offers, but was apparently fond of a type of spiced wine. And Phoenician culture gives us Ishumun, who was known to be a god of healing. So I feel like I've done my part. I've given us a nice, decent list of deities. First, who may be the source of this plague, and also some deities we can go to and maybe get some relief or healing during this plague. So if each of us contributes our own set of information, and maybe you have a deity you want to add to this list, just hit me below in comments. Be sure to check out our other videos. As always at Nine World Chronicles, our research in one area leads us to our research in other areas as we look for connections. The one thing I will say when we look at plagues and healing is we see them pretty equally represented in almost every culture and a lot of our favorite deities, no matter what culture you're looking at, had aspects of healing to their, their personalities or association. So again, check out our other videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and thank you for stopping in at Nine World Chronicles.